Hello! In today's game, I'm, sh I'm going to show you what natural products I use uh, when growing my cacti and succulents. So let's start with activated uh, charcoal. It's a purifying product that stops the buildup of soil impurities, prevents mold, and will soak up any excess uh, water. Hence, um, it prevents uh, rot of the roots. And you may recall from my uh, reporting videos that I always add a, a bit to my potting soil. Also, you can use it when um, water propagating of uh, house plants. So by adding a bit to water, also if you propagate in perlite or uh, lecca or sphagnum moss, when you add it, it, it should prevent the root rot. The next product I found out from Claire of Cactus Cove, the link is up above, and it's the essence of cinnamon oil. So you use it uh, diluted, so basically it's just one, two drops of this uh, essence uh, in uh, lukewarm water and a few drops of washing up liquid. So what you can see here are the pups of either Parodia or Kinopsis. Unfortunately, I noticed a, mass, uh, a huge uh, mealybugs infestation on the mother plant, so I um, detached uh, pups and, uh, and I am soaking them now in a bowl of this uh, solution. So they've been so uh, I soaked them for two or three hours, then I let them dry overnight, and after that, uh, in the morning, I removed the dead bodies of mealybugs with a, a small uh, brush. Also, this solution of neem oil, washing up powder, uh, liquid, and water, you can use as a spray. Uh, just remember that not to spray in intensive uh, light. So once you spray the plants, just keep them out of direct line uh, light. So this is said to be good uh, product against uh, red spider mites and um, mealybugs. Also, you can use this solution if you want to clean the roots and the soil around them is too compact, so just to loosen, loosen it up. Another way to use a cinnamon is uh, to sprinkle over any cuts or wounds. So you could see here my mammillaria, which was a victim of snail or, or a slug. So uh, you could see there was a chunk missing because they munched on it. So I'm going to sprinkle just a bit of uh, cinnamon. cinnamon. So it should prevent any pathogenic agents to go into it. So it's antifungal, antibacterial, and also it makes the recovery much quicker. Uh, I have also read that you can use uh, this uh, powdered cinnamon with your reporting mix whilst reporting the plant, which will help to regenerate uh, roots after reporting. I myself haven't used that way, but maybe I will next season. Now, this white powder is this DE. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the whole name, but you can see on your screen now. I found out about this uh, product from Lynn of Desert Plant of Avalon. The link up is up above. And it's the natural source of um, silica. I would say if you use copious amount of it, just wear a face, face mask in order not to breathe in any dust but it's safe for uh, pets for people and it, you can use as a protective covering uh, from uh, thrips 
mites, aphides, even slugs and snakes apparently, as well as mealybugs. You remember that it's effective when it's dry, so I don't recommend using it as a part of your potting mix because obviously we water plants so then its efficiency will be diminished and there are two ways of using so uh, the first one is to dust onto the plant which i'm going to show you in the moment in that way you kill an existing pests which are on the leaves or on the body of a cactus so here or succulent here you can see this echinopsis that i said before after drying out i report it so this is how i sprinkle it and another way is just to put a thin dust of um, this um, powder around uh, the pot so it will kill any eggs or larves so what's good it is that the insects won't build up any resistance to it and here it's another biological way of uh, controlling any pests so i used a uh, lady killer ladybirds on my ripsalis micranta as the were um, some mealy bugs and ladybirds dealt with them. The, there are some as well uh, predatory mites. There's, there are quite a lot of different uh, types for uh, thrives or to fight and uh, spider mites. Just remember that they are living uh, beings. So the, uh, if you use any chemicals or uh, then wait at least two weeks before using uh, those predatory mites and here you can see neem oil so uh, again be careful when using it in uh, uh, intensive sun just leave it uh, affect the plants that you sprayed with it out of sunshine or oh, grow growing grow lights as well so um, I use it diluted with lukewarm water, a few drops of neem oil and then uh, a few drops of washing up a liquid. So you can use it to spray the plant or even to clean the leaves. For instance, uh, my um, Thanksgiving cacti, they gather quite a lot of dust on the leaves segments so I just uh, dust, dust it off with uh, a bit of uh, cotton or cloth and this solution of neem oil and also it makes the leaves quite shiny and it works against again mealybugs by the mites now if you keep your plants in the greenhouse or in the garden you may have the same problem with slugs and snakes. I tried everything, beer, salt, um, eggshells, some uh, eco-friendly uh, methods, and even I used some uh, pellets, but they didn't really work. And then I found this copper tape, which works as a barrier. I used more this year and there were less casualties. So this is what it looks like. And you wrap it around the pot. Or like uh, here, for instance, you can see that I put it around uh, the tray with some allure, uh, allure and um, haworfias. So there was one haworfia which I got uh, munched on. So you can see some damage here. So I'm going to show you how I applied. It will be interesting to know what methods and products you use if you found this film helpful. So I'm looking forward to any comments and please like this video, share with other hobbyists. And if you are not subscriber, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to know when the new film is ready. 
another thing that you can use against snails and slugs was recommended to me by the director of the botanical garden in Bydgoszcz in Poland and this is this rock volcanic dust also known as rock powder or rock flower it contains rock minerals like basalt and other elements and minerals so they are essential for plant growth it is also said to increase resist resistance to pests and you can use all year round apart from high winds and when it um, rains and it doesn't contain nitrogen so it doesn't mean it's a fertilizer so you can use in that way by applying a layer around the plant like again we are back to this uh, mammillaria so this is how uh, i use all those um, natural products so thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye